Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiz Adam. In today's session, we will be uh, looking at the concept of saved surges, uh, which is one of the most uh, flexible and uh, a very popular feature of NetSuite. So let's get started. Safe search is a powerful tool uh, to query a set of records that can show the quickly dynamic data in real time on a regular basis as per our need. In a simple uh, term, I would say that a safe search is a request for information. By specifying criteria and results, information in NetSuite, uh, we will be able to search through hundreds, thousands or millions of records in the NetSuite uh, to pinpoint exactly what we need. Along with that, it also allows us to access all the data from different records and from different sources of information within the NetSuite application. It is a very powerful way to query a set of records and review them on a regular basis. It is essential when we need to put a report together with specific criteria or we want to keep an eye on the financial metrics that are changing with the time. Safe search results provide reporting and tracking, and it can serve as the basis for business analysis and strategic decision making. Like in the safe searches, uh, data is configured in the format that is to be saved, as well as to reduce the data size or script uh, of the data so that we can see the information that we are interested in or uh, that is required by our company or business. There are uh, certain steps that are followed for creating a saved search. Like first uh, step of it is select, uh, we have to select the object or record type. Various, various records are given relating to transactions, employee accounting, and various other records. So the first thing uh, in that we have to uh, select the object or the record type. And uh, after selecting the record type, uh, we will be redirected towards the saved search page where we have to add the search name that we want to save. And then uh, after uh, providing the search name for it, uh, we have to set a criteria condition. Like, you know, uh, criteria is used to uh, narrow down our data into the format that we want. And uh, after uh, setting the criteria, we have to configure the result data. Like uh, under the result data, we have to uh, mention the columns that we want to show or display in our reports. And after configuring the result data, uh, we will have the uh, we will have the uh, saved search output. And here we see the details of the sales order, purchase order, and various other record types that we have saved uh, and uh, that were created on the same uh, date. So this is about the steps of uh, creating a saved search. So moving on to the NetSuite application, uh, there are various ways for uh, creating a safe search. Like first, uh, the first way of navigation is we can uh, go into transactions under management. Here we have the option of safe search. Then uh, we will go into the list. Here we have search. Here we have safe search. And at last uh, we have the reports, safe searches, all, all safe search. So we can see that these are the saved searches that have been created so far. There are about uh, 1067 saved searches. Uh, various options are given uh, under which, uh, and if we go into the filter, so here we can have uh, these uh, filter options, like if we want to sh uh, view all the private searches, so we can have it and uh, available as uh, these are the various views under which the saved searches can be made available. And here we have the type, like for which type do we want uh, this safe search to be viewed. And with, there are uh, these kind of access level like private, public, or shared. So usually it is selected as all. And if I click on only public, so you can see that there are 1039 uh, uh, saved public searches. And if we click on the scheduled uh, uh, safe searches, so uh, if we want to view only the uh, searches that are not scheduled, so I have clicked on new, so you can see that these are the uh, unscheduled, non-scheduled searches. 
so this is about the filters if we want to create a new saved search so i will be clicking on new saved search the first step towards say, uh, creating a new saved search is that we have to select the object and the record type these are the various various records for that uh, say, say, uh, say searches can be saved so today for this uh, demo purpose i will be taking a customer invoices that will be falling under the transaction type so here i will be selecting transaction for the record type and after selecting the record type we have to uh, provide a name for our easy reference i have selected it as customer invoice id if we want to provide the id so we can provide it and if we do not so uh, we can leave it as blank when we uh, we are done with the save so the id will automatically be generated by our netsuite application and uh, further if we go down here so we have the options of uh, public and available as list view so if i want if i you know make this save search a public so it means that all users can run the search and it uh, and they can see its result and if i want to make this available as list view so it will be available uh, in that uh, way uh, further we have the options of for making this save search available as dashboard view as sub list view and it, if we want to make it uh, available for the reminders so we can check these boxes so for now i am uh, selecting here public the next step uh, for creating a safe search is we have to provide a criteria you know criteria is used uh, for narrowing down our search like uh, i have told you that there are thousands and hundreds and millions of records and if we want to narrow it down as per our requirements so for that we have to provide a criteria it will help us in you know shrinking our data or record so here under the criteria i have to select type since it is a customer invoice then we will be selecting the main line for it that is true we have to provide a date is uh, about the criteria i have set the criteria now uh, after criteria we have the uh, option of results like uh, what columns uh, what uh, are the things that we want to display into our report so here we have these these options like order type and various other options so if we want to remove all so we can remove it all it will be these are all these columns will get removed and like if i don't want this star to be shown on my report i don't want to show this tax period the things that you do not want in your report you can simply remove it from the list
and if we want to add some more columns so you can add it with the help of this option and with the help of this drop down so for right now i want these eight, eight columns to be shown on my reports and as i am done with my criteria and results i will be saving this report so here we can see that the customer invoices uh, that i have created just now is now saved uh, into my uh, saved search report if i want to view it so i will click on it and you can see that this is the uh, search that i have created total i have 21 customer invoices and the things that i have selected were date period type name amount and all so this is the you know the things that you are uh, that we uh, that is displayed in the uh, saved search is the result uh, is the are the columns that i have selected in the result and if we want to uh, make any edit in this search so i will click on this edit search, this search uh i as we are done with the criteria and result under the highlightings if you want to highlight any part particular information or any particular report so you can highlight with the colors text color background color and all under available filters like what are the filters that you want to uh, make available on your uh, saved search so here i want to show the status of the uh, customer invoices in the filter region and that's it so this is about the avail available filters and uh, before if you want to if you before if you want to view the saved search before saving it so you can click on preview and if you want to delete this this search so you under the actions we have the option of delete we can delete uh, the saved search if you want to so i will be saving it as i have provided the available filters so now you can see that the filter has been added uh, this is my saved search that is customer invoice and uh, if i want to see the status of paid in full so there is no result i have to mention something under the criteria sorry under the result that is status i will click on add and save it so you can see that uh, i have uh, added status to my result tab so now the status of the invoices are shown like this this, this is paid in full and this is open so uh, under the status if i want to show the invoices that are opened only so you can see that uh, presently i have only uh, seven invoices that are open so this is how we can uh, add a uh, filters to our uh, saved search and uh, further if we want to see the invoices that are paid in full so the uh, status of paid in full invoices is of 14th so this is how we can uh, have our saved searches and how we can you know uh, save our criteria and result in order to uh, uh, make our business process more easy and uh, that helps in the decision making so that's all from my side in case of any questions and consultations you can reach out to us at www.biaspsolutions.com thank you